Good morning, folks. Today we're going over tropical activity in the Indian Ocean, a rare sighting off the west coast of the United States, planet formation breaking the rules, and solar forcing of extreme precipitation. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. There was a brief uptick in solar flaring as we showed yesterday morning, but the uptick has now taken a step back. Solar flaring dropped out a bit. We've got new sunspots to be watching, and of course, the plasma filament eruption threats still loom large on the Earth-facing half of the Sun. GOES X-ray flux shows that brief surge in solar flaring. We're back down to mostly C-class range here this morning. The same sunspots are still being monitored, but new baby spots began developing just west of center. We'll be keeping an eye on those as well. Looks like yesterday morning wasn't quite the beginning of the Riger cycle uptick, which means we're looking for that to come in the next 10 days. Sunspots and filaments on watch for the days ahead. And up next, let's go to the tropics. This time we're in the South Indian Ocean, where a nearly extratropical cyclone is raging towards the islands east of Africa. It's slated to pass directly over them in the coming days. Prayers for the residents there out in the middle of the water with an extreme storm on its way. Folks, before this year, only 18 oarfish sightings were ever recorded off California. Now, we've got two just this year. They call it the doomsday fish because they tend to wash ashore before major natural disasters. Hopefully, that's not the case on the West Coast imminently, but those who know the pattern are taking notice. Up next, we're off to planet formation, where they're finding that young stellar environments they believed were too radiation extreme to have forming planets are actually showing all the signs that they have them. Astronomers are currently rewiring their models to account for the new observations, but once again, they thought they knew, but they didn't. Last but not least, excellent study on solar forcing of extreme precipitation in India. We've seen about a dozen studies on this just in 2024, and this one says what the others say, that whether they're looking to identify the forcing of major droughts or extreme flooding, matches up with the extremes of solar activity as well. This includes the monsoon severity. The sun's effect on Earth, especially in this ongoing magnetic pole shift, is a key component of our mini-conference presentation schedule. Three mini-conferences coming up at the ranch, plus the special guest in December for UFO Day. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.